Hi, I'm Chef Diane DeMay and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making an amazing fish dish. My friend April on her channel, Cook with April, does another rendition of this. Hers is super tasty, but today we're going to do it my way. I have tilapia, then we're going to make a topping with some Kalamata olives, garlic, tomatoes, and feta cheese, and then we're gonna set that fish and that topping on a nice bed of garlic spinach. First things first, let's get our mise en place together. We're gonna chop up our tomatoes. When I get my Kalamata olives, I like to get the ones that don't have the pits on it. Before, when I didn't know what I was doing, when I was super young, still super young, I used to take the olives and remove the pits from them and have nice gunk underneath my fingernails. We don't do that anymore. We go for the easy way. Now I use this topping cold or at room temperature, but you don't have to do that. You can warm yours up and do a quick saute off in a pan, that's fine. But I have found that when you add a little salt to tomatoes, it draws out such lovely flavors. I use canola oil and sometimes I use olive oil to mix this up with. Doesn't matter, you can use whatever type of oil you want. Tomatoes done in my bowl. Handful of kalamatas. You can use whatever olive you want. I, for one, when I'm trying to make a Mediterranean dish, I generally tend to use a great kalamata olive, only because the flavor lends such nice salt, almost like a slight bitter, delicious tastiness to a dish. I use a lot. You don't have to use this much. And that goes. And then, my fresh garlic. If you don't like such a strong taste of garlic, I always recommend that you can mince up some garlic, put it in a container of oil, like a little dish, and let it set, and all the flavors from the garlic leach out into the oil, and you can just add that oil to your dish. Me, I've got gusto. I like garlic. Okay. And that goes there. And last but not least, feta. You can buy feta that's already cubed up, it really doesn't matter, but I have found, for me, that when I buy crumbled feta, it doesn't have great consistency. Half of the top of the feta in the package are big chunks, and at the bottom, they're small and kind of nasty, so I don't like that. I like to be able to crumble up my own. And that goes. And you don't have to buy any particular type of feta cheese. Some are more tangy than the others. And that's it, now I'm gonna mix this. Add a little salt, not too much, because remember my Kalamata olives are already salty. Boop, boop, boop. You could add any type of other herb to this. You could add basil, you could add oregano, but we're gonna be plain and simple, nice and mixed. And now we're just gonna let that sit. I'll drizzle some oil on that in just a hot second. Cut up some more garlic, because we're making a nice garlicky spinach. I'm gonna use about three cloves. And that's it, we are set. Let's get to the stove and start cooking this. My fish is ready to go, and as I always say, I never really like to put oil first into my pan. I always like to oil my protein. So a little oil goes on my protein, and it goes nice and hot pan. I'm using tilapia today, I love tilapia. Number one, it's economical. Number two, it's super tasty, it's a sturdy fish, but you could use whatever you want. Swordfish, halibut, sea bass, cod, any other types of white fish goes amazing with this particular dish. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of salt. I don't like salting food too much because especially when I'm adding a topping to it, I don't wanna overwhelm it and I'm not one of those people who like to put tons of salt on my product. All right. It's been about three minutes. I've been flipping over my fish, and different fish will have different times to flip. And I will give this about another three minutes to cook it through. I am actually going to use the same pan to cook my spinach in, a little fish flavor to it. I'm on into doing dishes today, so we're gonna be very, very conservative on using just one pan. And this is, like I said, an extremely easy dish to do. My fish is done, and it's ready to come out. It's got some nice brown color on it. Here we go, waste not, want not. I'm gonna go straight back into this pan. A little oil. My spinach, like the key to this is good sauteed spinach. It's sauteed quick. And I always add my garlic 
on top of my spinach because when you add the garlic to the oil, it gets burnt, a little bitter tasting, and we don't want that. We just want nicely wilted, quickly sauteed spinach. It's already starting to wilt. Literally two minutes. Now you can add whatever you want to the spinach. I just do garlic, oil, a little touch of salt. But you could saute this with bacon. Add some cream to it to make cream bacon spinach. But for today, Mediterranean style, keep it simple. You just want to add some fresh herbs, maybe some oregano. You can add cilantro, basil. I'm going to give it a couple more tosses. And we're going to start plating this super yummy, fabulous, tasty Mediterranean fish. My spinach is ready to go, so we're going to start plating. We're going to layer it with my spinach. Get some nice garlic in there. Then we're gonna have some fish. Another nice piece on top. And some delicious feta, kalamata, tomato and garlic topping. And if I had some olive oil right now, I'd drizzle that on top. There you have it, pan-seared Mediterranean fish with sautéed garlic spinach and a beautiful topping of Kalamata olives, tomatoes, and feta cheese. And now, of course, the favorite part for me is stuffing my face. Hold on. Tender flaky. Mm-hmm. I love tilapia. With the tomatoes and the garlic and the feta cheese and the Kalamata olives, this is a home run. Super easy, quick to make, you gotta try it. And don't forget to check out my friend April on her fabulous YouTube channel, Cook With April. She makes an amazing Mediterranean fish topped with spinach and feta cheese. And I will see you next week, so don't forget to subscribe. Ciao. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making something extremely fun and special. We are doing a different version of stuffed grape leaves.